So check this out. I've been working on this little project, modeling the coronavirus on my Desmos and trying to get the textures just right and get the colors just right. And you run into this issue in Desmos all the time. And in my previous video, I showed how individually one at a time you can add colors in the console to Desmos. But I thought it would be so much better if you could add a color picker right inside of Desmos. Because notice I have colors like yellow and this maroon. I also have a silver color and I have this other situation going on here, which I'm going to describe at the end of the video. These are all things that have been added with some JavaScript that was developed by <laughs> After seeing my last video, a man named Andre Issa came up with a JavaScript that allows you to do this. So I'd like to give him the credit, but I'm going to show you how to install this JavaScript so that it's running in the background. And when you open Desmos, it'll give you this color picker. It's really cool. So here we go. The first thing you'll need to do is go to a website called Tamper Monkey. Now I know that that sounds a little bit strange, but for people that are used to running JavaScript in the background, this is a pretty normal way to do it. So when we go to Tamper Monkey, this is just tampermonkey.net, and I will have a link to this site in the description so you know you're at the correct site. You can download the stable version of this, and there are directions right inside of it. It's very simple to install. Now, when you install this, it's going to put a little icon in the top of your Google Chrome browser. Now, what you'll do with that is when you click on the icon, you can click on go to the dashboard or you can click on create new. The options are pretty self-explanatory as you go into this. So some of these things I'm not going to show, but when you go into create a new script, it brings up this page and you can delete all of this. That is the starting script and you can put in someone else's script that you find online. Now, of course you only want to use scripts that you trust and if you really have no reason to trust this then i understand and uh, it's you know i get it that you might not want to put this on your computer but i put it on my computer and i think this is really good and works really well so make sure that you read through the script and that there's nothing really strange seeming if you want somebody that is capable with coding to look through that script first before you install it on your computer it might be a good idea so to get to this script i'm also going to have the information to get to uh, the github page where he has put this and all you need to do is click on this and highlight all of it so i'm actually just going to highlight all of it like this and i'll copy that now, when I go over to my tamper monkey new script area here, I can paste all of that in and I'll just go to file save. Now, once I've done that, you'll see that I actually have two of these here and that's because I installed this three days ago, as it says up there. So I've been using it for a few days already, but the new one, is automatically turned on and I want to show you what happens when I go back to my Desmo screen notice that there's no color picker so you might think that it would be enough to just refresh the page and wait a minute it seems like we have a color picker up here but if you have lowercase f's in this color picker it means that it actually didn't work so you should close out of Desmos completely and open up a new page of Desmos to log in. Now notice that it has capital F's across here. And when you click on that color picker, it brings up color options right inside of Desmos. That is really, really nice. So I'm going to open back up. Okay, so now that I am back into my COVID-19 graph, Let's look at some of the things that I've done. When I go to the polygon dark area here, you'll notice that this first polygon 
has a very dark kind of burgundy color. And the way that I got that was by going up here and clicking on the color picker and then I can pick a nice burgundy color and I can even change the shade of this if I want it lighter or darker. I want it to be quite dark. And then just click the save button. And when you do that, it's going to be an option now inside of your colors right here. And you can say, I'd like it to be this nice burgundy color. And that's what I did before. But notice that all of these other ones after it are this light gray kind of gradient option. What that does is it copies whatever color is the last color that happened above it in these lines. So that option is automatically put in as this gradient option. There's also a silver option, which is put in here, which is very nice, because you'll notice that in the color picker, it would be very hard to get to a good clean silver color. So uh, Andre put that in automatically for you. And notice also, this I think is really the coolest part, is if you pick and save multiple different colors. Let me see here, I'll get a nice kind of goldish yellow. I can get a, a pink color, a purplish color. Let's get, let's get lots of colors. We'll get kind of a bright pink. Okay, no matter how many colors I save in there, when I go over here and look, I have all of those options available to me now. Now, the interesting thing that happens is when you save this file and you open it back up later, it's going to keep all of the colors in the image that you've done, but it's not going to keep all of the colors over here. So you, you would have to maybe, if you're going to work on this for multiple days, you might want to write down the hex code that is up here on the top because you can actually type in hex codes up there as well. So, and it even uses the shortened hex codes if you want to use the three, uh, you know, three characters. So I think this is just such a cool color picker and can be really helpful for so many different projects. So I could show you if I open up another project here, um, there's just all these different applications where, especially when people are doing kind of artistic projects, you really want to have exact colors. And since yellow and this tannish color were both not available in the original Desmos coloring scheme, it's really nice to be able to add colors in very easily and quickly. And you can see that I have colors like this up here in my color picker. So I would highly recommend that you go download Tamper Monkey, go to the websites that I have in the description, and it will lay out exactly how to do this process for yourself so that you can have a color picker in your Desmos too. If you've liked this video and you're interested in seeing more that's like this, then please remember to subscribe.